Hi everyone! We're both coming at you this week because it's Christmas time and we're here all festive in our sweaters and our holiday cheer. She's coming at you a little more sparkly than I am. If you had, <laughs> I always sparkle more but than you Chris can't, does. You can't, yeah, you wouldn't expect anything else, right? But in the spirit of Christmas, we just want to have a little fun today and we're going to actually read you a poem, a little Christmas story, so to speak. And I'm going to let Chris start us off. This is titled, A Politically Correct Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas, and Santa's a wreck. How to live in a world that's politically correct. His workers no longer would answer to elves. Vertically challenged, they were calling themselves. And labor conditions at the North Pole were alleged by the Union to stifle the soul. For reindeer had vanished without much propriety, released to the wilds by the Humane Society. And equal employment had made it quite clear that Santa had better not use just reindeer. So Dancer and Donner, Comet and Cupid, were replaced with four pigs. And you know that looked stupid. <laughs> the runners had been removed from his beautiful sleigh because the ruts were deemed dangerous by the EPA. And millions of people were calling the cops when they heard sled noises upon their rooftops. Secondhand smoke from his pipe had his workers quite frightened, and his fur-trimmed red suit was called unenlightened. To show you the strangeness of today's ebbs and flows, Rudolph was suing, suing over unauthorized use of his nose. He went to Geraldo in front of the nation, demanding millions in overdue workers' compensation. So half of the reindeer were gone, and his wife, who suddenly said, She'd had enough of this life, joined a self-help group, packed and left in a whiz, demanding from now on that her title was Ms. And as for gifts, why, he'd never had the notion that making a choice could cause such commotion. Nothing of leather, nothing of fur, which meant nothing for him or nothing for her. Nothing to aim, nothing to shoot, nothing that clamored or made lots of noise. Nothing for just girls and nothing for just boys. Nothing that claimed to be gender specific. Nothing that's warlike or non-pacifistic. No candy or sweets, they were bad for the tooth. Nothing that seemed to embellish upon the truth. And fairy tales, while not yet forbidden, were like Ken and Barbie, better off hidden. For they raised the hackles of those psychological who claimed the only good gift was one ecological. No baseball, no football, someone might get hurt. Besides, playing sports exposed kids to dirt. Dolls were said to be sexist and should be passe. And Nintendo would rot your entire brain away. So Santa just stood there, disheveled and perplexed. He just couldn't figure out what to do next. He tried to be merry, he tried to be gay, but you must have to admit he was having a very bad day. His sack was quite empty. It was flat on the ground. Nothing fully accepted was anywhere to be found. Something special was needed. A gift that he might give to us all without angering the left or the right. A gift that would satisfy with no indecision. Each group of people in every religion. Every race, every hue. Everyone, everywhere, even you. So here is that gift. It's price beyond worth. May you and your loved ones enjoy peace on earth. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas everyone. everyone. See you next year.